Good afternoon, everyone. Today we are on my patio and I am just going to do a quick cleanup, maybe maybe not so quick, maybe a little more involved. Um, as you can see on the, the table behind me, there are a lot of fruits and vegetables that I have picked over the last 24 hours that I just haven't had anywhere to put and so I've left them on the table, which isn't great. Um, so I want to get that cleaned up. I have the giant zucchini that I picked three days ago and still haven't dealt with. Um, just mostly because I don't know what to do with them. And then we have some construction uh, supplies and materials that are out here on our rolling cart and along the wall that are just cluttering up the space. So I just want to clean everything up, get it nice and pretty and functional again, and I thought I would bring you along with me. If you like this video, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. Leave a comment, let me know what you're doing on your outdoor spaces, your patios, your gardens. I always want to know about that. And until next time, I hope you enjoy this video. Welcome to another cleaning video. Today's isn't conventional. As you can see, we're out on my patio, but I needed to clean up desperately out here. It had some construction materials as well as some harvesting vegetables and fruits that I really needed to handle and I've just been avoiding because I have no room for them. already have a lot of zucchini and crookneck yellow squash in our fridge and so adding more is just a little overwhelming but I'm going to try and use it or at least freeze it this upcoming weekend. I also boxed up some apples to take into work. I started using a bag but clearly that was way too heavy so I switched to a box and will bring those into my co-workers. Fun fact about me is I am always leaving weeding debris and so here I am cleaning up my own mess from a couple of days ago. I then move on to the massive zucchini that I picked earlier. If you'd seen my garden haul video, you know that these all came out on the same day and there are a lot of them and I don't know what to do with zucchini this big. So I decided to box them up and post them online and ask around with friends who have livestock to see if anyone could use them as livestock treats. this hose reel because I thought it looked pretty, which it does, but I now know that I would much rather have a more functional hose reel and just hide it off somewhere off the patio rather than a pretty one that is more difficult to maneuver and use. This rolling cart is a catch-all outside. It is the equivalent of our kitchen table inside and so it collects everything from my gardening tools to Ian's construction tools and eventually I always need to clear it off so that we can start filling it once again. of several neglected pots of liatris that have been out of the ground for far too long. If you've seen my container garden tour, you know that this was not supposed to be in a pot this long, so I am just clearing out some of the dead foliage and trying to make it look a little less neglected. that he is never wants to go in or outdoors when that is an option he only ever wants it when it is not an option a true beagle through and through
I don't know why I keep this thermometer around. I assume it just makes me feel better, but it's actually broken and I keep holding on to it and I'm not sure why. I've recently gotten this Milwaukee leaf blower and I have really loved it. It's so much better than sweeping. I used to be a sweeping advocate because I don't like using machinery if I can use my own body, but this makes it so much easier and I can just blow around things rather than having to move everything. And it uses the same battery pack as our weed whacker and a couple of our power tools. Another fun oddity about this house is that the patio is not completely concrete. It has this set-in feature where we have our patio table and there is just sand underneath it, so we chose to put some outdoor carpet there and eventually we will be paving the entire thing and redoing all of the concrete and including this in the main patio space. But for now, I just vacuumed the outdoor carpet. Royal Walter, of course, is on the double bed stack in the yard. Very princess and the pea. And of course, no cleaning would be complete without refreshing the dog's outdoor water bowl. Thank you so much for coming along with me while I cleaned my patio today. It was wonderful to have the company and to be able to show you the process that I use to clean this space. If it motivated you to clean your indoor or outdoor areas, let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.